Welcome to Chapter 8, Lesson 6. The essential question is, how can different fractions name the same amount? Today we're going to compare and order fractions. We're going to put them in order. They're going to teach us how to do that. To compare fractions, create equivalent fractions with the same denominators or the same numerators. Use the least common multiple or the least multiple common to sets of multiples. Okay, and we'll show you what those mean. Okay, so first let's look at the example. Ramon has an insect collection. The table shows the length of four insects in his collection. See right here, those are the lengths. Which is longer, a mosquito or a whirligig beetle? Okay, so a mosquito, one-fourth inch, or a whirligig beetle? Okay, now we can't tell which one's bigger by just looking at the eight or the four. You can't assume that the eight is bigger just because the number's bigger. These fractions need to either have the same denominator or the same numerator to compare. So what do we do then? Okay, well, the first thing I did was model it. So just take a break from this for a second. And I did a model. So the mosquito was one four. So I drew a circle and I divided it into four pieces and shaded one. And then I drew another circle and I divided it into eight pieces and I shaded three of them. And these are the same size circles because I used the same object to trace. So when I'm looking at this, I can already tell that the whirligig beetle is going to be bigger because, look, it's covering more of the circle. And I also modeled it using a rectangle. And I divide this one into fourths, one, two, three, four, and shade in one fourth. And I divide this one to eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I shade three of them. And again, I can tell that three eighths is going to be bigger, look more shaded. But they want to teach you how to do the math way. Okay, so this is the modeling way. And then here's the math way to do it. Okay. So you find the least common multiple of the denominators. Okay, so 8 and 4. Easily, I can make these denominators if I want the denominators to be the same. I need them to be the same. I need them both to have an 8. And it's going to be really easy to turn a 4 into 8. All I have to do is multiply by 2. But remember, what you do to the 1, you have to do to the older brother, right? You've got to do the same. Remember from the lesson before. Okay, you have to be fair to the brothers. So, I can multiply, since I want the denominator to be 8, I can multiply by 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 times 2 is is 2. So this fraction now is 2 eighths. Okay, these are equivalent. And the whirligig view already had a denominator of 8, so we're good. So now we compare. Which one is bigger? 2 thirds or 3 eighths? Well, 3 is bigger than 2, right? If you have something that's only Divide it, we could divide this one in two, right? Would you rather have two or three? Right? This one's going to be bigger. When the denominators are the same, the fraction with the greater number is the greater fraction. Okay, so this is the bigger fraction. And this is our symbol. Remember, we put, we put the triangle towards the big one, right? The big mouth, like this. Imagine it's like a crocodile. And he wants to eat the big pieces. Okay, so this is bigger. So, 3 eighths of an inch is longer. Okay, now on the back side, they want to show you how you do it if you make the numerators be equal. The table shows the cooking times needed for different foods. Order the foods from least to greatest cooking times. Okay, so the rice is cooking time one-fourth of an hour, lasagna is five-sixths of an hour, and enchiladas are two-thirds of an hour. Again, we cannot compare these just based on which numbers are bigger. 
if the denominators are not equal or the numerators are not equal. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here I did the modeling. So the rice was one-fourth of an hour. So I took an hour or a rectangle and I cut it into one-fourth, but I used the same size rectangle. Okay, and the lasagna was five Six of an hour. Okay, so I divide this into six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the lasagna we had five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the enchiladas were two thirds of an hour. So I cut this into thirds. One, two, three, and shade in two. Now I can see from my model. That I think the enchiladas, I mean, excuse me, the lasagna is going to be longer. It's going to take longer. But let's check the math way. Okay, so the least common multiple, okay, multiples of 10. So we're trying to figure out what we would make the numerator to be. Well, 1 we can multiply by basically anything. 5, we can do 5, 10, 15, 20. And the numerator here, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so 10 is the first thing I got to that they all have in common. So least common multiple is 10. Okay. So I can multiply so that they'll all be 10 on top. So 1 changing to 10. Then I have to multiply the bottom by 10, so it's 40. And I'm going to try to change 5, 6 to be 10 on top. So I have to multiply by 2 and multiply on the bottom. So that makes it 10 twelfths. And to get 2 to turn into 10, I have to multiply by 5. But remember, if you multiply by 5 here, you have to multiply by 5 here. So that's 15. Okay, so now I have these equivalent fractions, 10 fourths, 10 twelfths, and 10 fifteenths. And now I can compare. When the numerators are the same, the fraction with the greatest denominator is the least fraction. Okay, so why? Okay, so this one would be the least because it has the biggest number on the bottom. Why? Because imagine I cut a cake into 40 pieces and you got 10. Okay, that'd be okay. But if I only cut the cake into 15 pieces, getting 10 is a lot. But if I cut the same cake into 12 pieces, getting 10 pieces is almost all of it. So, from least to greatest cooking times, the foods are, which one was this, rice, then it was the enchiladas, and then it was the lasagna. Now, I will say that you need to pay attention to least to greatest. I mean, small one first. And then they did a little model for you, just like I did. All right. And moving on to the essential question. Let's cover that up for a second. How can I compare two fractions with the same numerator? So how do I know? How can I compare two fractions with the same numerator? I either need to multiply the fractions so they all have the same numerator or the same denominator. Okay? And if they have the same numerator, numerator, The, and what did it say? It said it right here. When the numerators are saying the fraction with the greatest denominator is the smallest. The fraction with the greatest denominator is the smallest. We 
We will st practice this more in class, so don't worry if it feels a little overwhelming today. All right, feel free to pause the screen if you need to. I will see you in class.